How's it going, guys? Very easy question for biochemistry for step one and for pediatrics for 2CK. Uh, you will occasionally get questions that are very molecular uh, when we talk about some of the pediatric disorders, okay? This is one of the highest yield diseases on NBME. It's not my opinion. It's a matter of what shows up repeatedly. So I'll tell you exactly what you need to know, not waste your time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. Four-year-old boy. He has coarse facial features, joint contractures, and hepatomegaly. Molecular analysis determines an inability to phosphorylate the sixth position on Manos. Question wants to know the most likely diagnosis. We have our answer choices. So let's just walk through the, the answers here. Choice A, cherry red spot in the macula. Wrong answer. This refers to both Tay-Sac and Neiman Pick classically. Uh, Tay-Sac -Tay is going to be uh, visual loss in a young child, its deficiency of hexosaminidase A, and a buildup of GM2 ganglioside. Okay, it's like, ooh, wow, fancy sounding uh, molecules. The yieldness is not exceptional. Okay, when you uh, are reading about the lysosomal storage diseases and you're trying to memorize a big chart, I can tell you that the yieldness is very, very low. And now that the step one has gone to pass fail, pretty much a waste of time apart from this one question which i i will further discuss here but uh tay-sac uh, hexosaminidase a deficiency buildup of gm2 ganglioside and neiman pick uh, deficiency of sphingomyelinase uh, buildup of sphingomyelin they're both cherry red spot on the macula that you can get and neiman pick will have hepatomegaly tay-sac will not once again they're low yield we could spend more time chatting about them but i'm not going to waste our fucking time Okay, it's not a numerical step one anymore. Choice B, deficiency of myofosphorylase, wrong answer. This is a glycogen storage disease. This is McArdle syndrome. Okay, so myofosphorylase, aka muscle glycogen phosphorylase. This is of yieldness worth knowing. Okay, so this is going to be a young adult generally who has severe cramping with exercise. And this can lead to rhabdo, okay, with myoglobinuria. That's McArdle syndrome. Okay, not, not difficult. Okay, just 21 year old, he, he went sprinting, he gets really bad muscle cramps, and they just say, what's the deficient enzyme? It's just myofosphorylase or glycogen, uh, or muscle glycogen phosphorylase. Okay, glycogen storage disease type 5 and Carlson. Choice C, dilation of rough endoplasmic reticulum, wrong answer. However, I threw this in here because uh, this is seen on one of the step one offline NBME exams where they just simply ask you if proteins cannot be sent from the RER to the Golgi for processing, what would be seen in the cell? And the answer is just dilation of the RER. I mean, it doesn't, there's, there's nothing complicated about that thought process, okay? If something can't be sent out of the RER to the Golgi, well, what's going to happen? The RER could theoretically dilate, okay? Not my fucking opinion, but it shows up on one of the forms and students get this wrong, okay? So I'm just, I'm just mentioning it. Choice D, increased serum enzyme levels is the correct answer. Very, very high yield. This is eye cell disease, okay? So an eye cell, this presentation, very, very buzzy, very classic, coarse facial features, joint contractures, hepatomegaly. Now, this condition, we have lysosomal enzymes that are, that are at the Golgi apparatus for processing, okay? So when, when proteins are synthesized, it's at the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They then go to the Golgi where they're modified, and then when they're at the Golgi, they can then be shuttled to various locations. So you have the recently synthesized slash modified lysosomal enzymes that are still at the Golgi, and now they have to get sent to the lysosomes for storage, all right? And the, and the way this... <coughs> <coughs> what am I going to do? Restart the whole fucking clip now that I coughed? I mean, I could, but I'm just going to continue with the clip here. So you have the recently synthesized slash modified uh, lysosomal enzymes at the Golgi apparatus and they have to be sent to the lysosomes for storage. And the way the cell does this, for whatever fucking reason, it occurs via a molecule known as mannose 6-phosphate. So if we can't phosphorylate the 6 position at mannose, we can't make mannose 6-phosphate, and we therefore can't send the lysosomal enzymes from the Golgi to the lysosomes. So that in and of itself, that mechanism is very high yield. If they say, uh, if they give you this vignette and they say, where is the location for the defective enzyme process? The answer is the Golgi, because it's occurring at the Golgi, what I just said. But if they say, 
Uh, enzymes cannot be sent where? The answer is the lysosome because they can't get sent there. So the enzymes end up in the cytosol slash the serum instead. And they can give you a similar presentation and just say, uh, laboratory studies show increased serum levels of, and then they list four obscure sounding lysosomal enzymes. And you just need to know, well, that's eye cell disease, uh, because in that condition, you're going to get high lysosomal enzymes in uh, the serum and in the cell, okay, in the cytoplasm. It's, it's a high yield point you need to know. So choice E, misfolded protein retaining the RER. Wrong answer. This is cystic fibrosis, okay? So uh, CFTR channel, chloride channel, it should be on the cell surface, but because of oftentimes missense mutation, delta F508, oftentimes uh, when we have the misfolded protein, it just gets retained in the cytoplasm, slash RER, and they want you to know that that's what you're going to see on uh, electron microscopy. Students get this wrong frequently. They say, what do you see on electron microscopy in CF? A uh, student will say, uh, abnormally folded uh, channel on the cell surface. It's the wrong answer because it's not gonna it's not gonna make it to the cell surface. Okay, so it's going to be uh, sequestered in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. You know the deal. I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.